Here we are. Here we are. Homework number 13. All right. Uh, this test allows four attempts. Oh, okay, so we're allowing four attempts this time. Must be this is a tough ass assignment. I'm telling you. No, now I got y'all scared. Okay, about how many pounds of air pressure? Okay, so we just saw the answer on that. All right, now I hope you watched the little uh, video of the uh, of the Cub Scouts, and and I can't remember. He said it went 881 miles per hour or something like that. Um, so let's walk through what the problem is that I have here. And, you know, and this will be about six or seven or or four or five of the 28 questions that you're going to have. So let's act like physicists now. In the Cub Scout video, they claim the speed of 808. There it is. Let's see if that's possible. So pressure. Now, one of the things we're going to learn in a, in a future slide is pressure is also equal to the force over the area. Okay. In fact, I think I have, I want to go through all that. I'm sorry. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, let's go back. So take my word for it. It's equal to the force divided by the area. So that means if you're if you're wearing high-heeled shoes, you've got your entire weight on, you know, those little spike heels. Not that I've ever worn them. You better go on with that right now. All right, anyway, so you, the force divided by the area. So you got those little bitty spike heels. Ouch. That creates a lot of pressure. And it hurts, okay, because the force is your weight under that very small area that creates pressure and that hurts. That's why nails work. Wham! Put the nail in there. They got the they got the big hit. They got the flat head, which you hit, which gives you more surface area, and you hit it with a force. And that very very small point, then very very small area creates a lot of pressure. Boom! Goes in and it goes into the wood. All right. So, this is so. What we're going to do is let's calculate half the surface area of a ping pong ball. All right, the radius of a ping pong ball is equal to 20 millimeters. Don't forget to convert to meters. So let's take a look at what what does that look like. So how do we get what is the surface area of a ping pong ball? So let's find the surface area of a ping pong ball. Real quick, how would we do that? First of all, we should have probably had this turned on to begin with. But there it is. All right, so let's um, zoom in a little bit. So, whoa. All right, so we know that um, pressure, so we know that the surface area of a ball is equal to 4 pi r squared. That's the surface area of the ball. Okay, so these are our notes. 413. These are the notes for homework 13. Good writing there. So, R is equal to 20 millimeters. Hold on one second. Um, divide by 1,000 and R is equal to 0 0.02 meters. Plug that in there and so you find the surface area is 4 times 3.14 times 0 0.02 squared. And that'll give you your surface area. All right. We'll come back to that.